Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today in this video, I'm gonna show how to update OpenCore EFI for Mac OS Sequoia. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now let's begin. This is an EFI update guide, which tells you what are the few changes you need to do in your EFI for booting Mac OS Sequoia. And I'm assuming that you already have an existing working EFI that's able to boot to older Mac OS versions. If you don't have any EFI, follow the guide from the i button to create an EFI for your system. This update guide is done on Windows OS, but you can do it on Mac OS or any Linux distribution as well. Now, for updating your EFI, you'll need the Open Core Auxiliary Tool, your pre-configured working EFI, and patches.plist if configuring EFI for AMD PC. Now, open config plist of your EFI using OCAT. Now in OCAT, click on Upgrade Open Core in Texts, and a new window will appear. Here, under Open Core section, click on Get the latest version of Open Core, and after the Open Core database has been successfully updated, click on OK. Now under the Kext section, with all the Kexts selected, click on Check for Kext Updates, and if any Kext updates are found, click on Update Kexts. Keep in mind that a few of the Kexts updates won't be fetched by OCAT, so for those Kexts, you'll have to look for any update manually and then update the particular text in your EFI. After the texts are updated, click on Start Sync. After it's successfully synced to the latest Open Core version, click on OK, and exit OCAT, while saving the changes. Now, delete any old config, if available, and then again open your config.plist. If you have an AMD 7000 series CPU, you'll need to configure the MMIO wall list for certain motherboards. A guide has already been published on the channel for it. Now go to the kernel tab and then the patch section. Here, delete all the old patches, and then load the new downloaded patches as shown. After adding the new patches, you'll need to modify the core count patches. You'll need to set the core count of your CPU under the replace section as shown, where core count represents the physical core count of your target CPU, and the core count value should be replaced as per the core values provided. For example, if a CPU is an AMD Ryzen 5 3400G which has 4 cores, then the change will look like this. Now, after defining the core values, if your target hardware consists of the DRX40 motherboard, make sure to disable this kernel patch. Also, if your target hardware consists of AM5 motherboards with onboard Thunderbolt or USB 4, you'll need to enable this kernel patch. After making the changes in the patch section, you're good to go. Here I'll quickly delete the patches, as this EFI is for Intel PC. Now go to the miscellaneous tab. And then the security section. Here, set the secure boot model to disabled and then move to the PI tab. Here, you'll need to select the correct SMBIOS for your system, depending upon your hardware. Here you can see all the compatible SMBIOS, which are supported by Mac OS Sequoia. Choose the correct SMBIOS as per your hardware. After configuring the SM BIOS, save the config plist, and you're good to go with Mac OS Sequoia. Now, let me just quickly show you, that with the updated EFI, I'm able to boot to the Mac OS Sequoia recovery installer.
And here you can see, I have successfully booted to the installer. So that was it, hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, just comment down below, or create a thread on our forum. Make sure to check out the forum for in-depth guides. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.